and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi, folks. I'm Bob Shaw, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Because we are the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, Bob. All right. Very good, Brad. Today, we're going to talk about sleep like this. Your shoulder pain will never go away. So if you're having shoulder pain, you need to listen to us yeah. for once. Strong words, Bob. You've got That's strong right. words. These are things I tell to my children. you got to listen to me, but yeah. of course they don't. By the way, if you're new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos on Stay Healthy, Fit Pain Free Upload every day. Also, if you want to win something, you'll oh. want to join us on our website, bobandbrad.com. Go to the giveaway section or go to Facebook, yeah. Bob and Brad. It'll be pinned to the top of the page. And if you want a shortened version of Bob and Brad, go to Twitter. And what's the other one? Instagram. Right. We'll give you the 60-second version of right. our lives. Yeah. Last night, I was at a football game, and someone said, hey, I like your Instagram. I said, hey, wow. Oh, well, that's cool. Yeah, it was yeah. kind of fun. High school uh, game. Uh, by the way, what we're giving away this week is we're giving away the grip strengthener. Brad's going to show it real quick just to oh, give a demonstration. They are strong like bull. You must have strong grip. And then this is what really I mean, seriously, this is not Yeah, beautiful. there is a quote. I've never met a weak man with uh, I mean, I, I've never met a strong man with a weak grip. Right. So, yeah, I mean, the same with women. That. I've never met a strong woman with a weak grip. So, all right, let's get started, Brad. Carry on. All right, first thing is, you're going to want to try to avoid sleeping on the shoulder. But I know for many people, Brad, I, I have patients. This goes, I've, I've, I've had millions of, not millions. Spit it out, Bob. Hundreds of patients over the years that just, <laughs> they couldn't get away from sleeping on their shoulder. So if you're going to sleep on your shoulder, I'm going to show you how to do it. Right. If you're going to do it, do it right. Yep. We'll pretend this is the shoulder, yep. okay? So what you're going to need, generally when you sleep on your side, you want to fill in this gap between the shoulder. I mean, you don't want to have your head turning like this. You're right. So generally, you're using, what, two pillows or one two thicker pillows, pillow. Yeah, or you can fold it in half, right. kind of works. But you got to elevate this so you get yeah. your spine in line. That might even be too much because that's a thick pillow. But well, anyway, see you get the idea. So this is the key here, though. You're going to get a throw pillow, a smaller pillow like this. Yeah, yeah. I sleep like this every night. And you create the canal. And you're going to put the painful shoulder in here like this. And now I'm taking pressure on my head. I'm taking pressure here. I'm taking less pressure on the shoulder. So it actually, little, so the pressure is relieved through the rib cage. Exactly. Through that and pillow. if you want to do a little bit even more, Brad, you can lay a little bit onto your back too. Right. Just, just it, tw twist the body a little bit. If you think about bringing this elbow out, which pulls that shoulder out, that, that relieves it as well somewhat. Yeah. So, again, ideally, I'd want you to not sleep on that shoulder right. if you can avoid it. Mm -hmm. But that is the, the next best option sure. to, do, to do so. Now, let's say you, you're going to listen to me, and you're going to try to sleep with the, the, the painful shoulder on the upside. So, oh, sure. You mean on towards the ceiling. All right, on yeah. the other side. Mm -hmm. um, so now in this instance, what you're going to do, I'm going to use these pillows, Brad. Oh, the custom uh, memory foam. Yeah, just because... It's going to, I need these two pillows. Who's, uh, okay, want to hold on to that, Brad? We heard a phone. You they, probably didn't hear that. They and, didn't hear that. We've got so, a new mic system. So, okay, now you're saying, okay, my shoulder should be fine, right? Because it's it's up here like this. Mm -hmm. But you know what? This is what happens, doesn't it? Yeah. And it goes into kind of internal rotation, and it's just in a bad position all night. We like to have it up in a, a what we call a loose-packed position. So what are you going to do? You say, well, I just take a pillow. Well, even one pill is quite often not enough. Not enough. This is where you, you may need the double one. So yeah. you put one here, and then you put one under the arm like this, and now you can see the arm is up and supported. Right. So now you may not stay that way. You may, but just start that way, and if you sure. get a couple hours in, it's giving that shoulder some time to repair. Right. And, and after you do that a bit, your body is going to know that that's more comfortable. And even when you're sleeping, when you take them out, it creates pain. You can train yourself to to sleep this way more. Yes, you can. Um, and you'll find out the more comfortable you are, a lot of times the less you're going to move sure. at night. Now, a, an alternative would be to sleep with the arm like this, too. I mean, that's if you don't have pillows. Sure. But um, it, it's... You know, it's better with the pillows. Mm -hmm. It gives you a little, uh, uh, you know, support that way. All right, let's say you're going to sleep on your back. Oh, kind of yeah. the same thing again. I'm sleeping on my back. I'm going to watch my mic here. Um, 
I'm going to pretend this is the painful shoulder. When the shoulder's down like this, it is kind of almost extended a little bit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Bit. A little bit. It's just, again, going to be a little more comfortable yeah. to have support like this. Right. Nothing big, but but it does make a difference. I, I find this is the first thing I'll go over with people with painful shoulders. Sure. Yeah. Because if if no matter what we do all day long, if you do the right things all day long and then you sleep uh, uh, poorly, yep. your your shoulder is going to be hurting. It's like taking one step forward and too bad. That, that's a good analogy, there Brad. There you go. The final thing would be, Brad, oh, by the way, I'm going to mention with that pillow under the arm, I even suggest, I just saw a lady yesterday, painful shoulder, and and I actually saw her in her assisted living apartment. It was attached to the uh, one of the nursing homes. Yep. And she was sitting in her chair. And she likes to read a lot, and her arm is just hanging like this. Mm -hmm. So we took a pillow, and we put the pillow underneath there, even while she's sitting in the chair. And when she reads her book, she can put the book on the pillow, too. Did she say, oh, that feels better? Yeah, she did. I oh, mean, yeah. it, it just, it's immediate. Yeah, you can tell right away. Now, the last position people tend to sleep in is on their stomach. Now, that the only thing I can say about that, I want you to avoid it. Right. Because your arms are going to be up probably like this or like this. It's just not a great position for the shoulder. You're just going to have to work your way off of it. Right. I know I've, I've never tried this uh, with a patient, but uh, one thing they had suggested I, I heard was that you could take a tennis ball and sew it into your T-shirt. And so if you lay over onto the stomach, you'll be laying it's on It's uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable. Yeah. So you'd, you'd get mm -hmm. off of it right away. Yeah. So the same, I mean, if you couldn't sleep on your back, you could sew the tennis ball on your back. And so... You sew it on your, how would you sew it? Sew it into the shirt. Well, you're going to have to have a sewing machine then and, or a seamstress so you could take it somewhere, I suppose. Well, I mean, there's I probably just duct tape. I was going to say, there's probably simple ways to yeah, do it. We could yeah. find that out. So I, I also do want to chime in, Bob, because we got a little time here. Sure. Because if I sleep on my shoulder, it is clearly painful. However, since I got a new mattress, clearly better doesn't eliminate the problem but it's clearly better because last night i slept on a different mattress which actually air mattress on the floor it's a long story sure. but boy my shoulders talk to me on things, things are okay with your wife oh yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, he was I, at his mom's I, my mother had to get up yeah. early for surgery this right, morning right. So he I, was I, being I, a good son i slept over to her house and uh i uh I didn't sleep well. I know you're not trying to do a commercial here, Brad, but but it is true that Sleep Ovation mattress they have the 700 tiny mattresses. Uh, they happen to be right behind. Yeah, right you. behind you. It's uh, true. It's made yeah, a big difference. In yeah, my life. I just had a conversation with my daughter last night, uh, who helps uh, with the company here, and she has a painful shoulder. Oh. And she's thinking she wants to get one of the Sleep Ovation yeah, mattresses. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so have her we, test one out. I was gonna say we probably could hook her up. She tried it here. Oh, she, she did. She did. She, all night long? No, that's the problem. She, had, you know, I'll have her sleep her all night. See what <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> sleep in the office here. So, all right. Remember, I can, and I can fix just about anything except for a broken heart. There you go. But we're working on it. Is it over here? Well, Where is it? it? It's right between the two shoulders and a little lower. It's her, we're getting closer. Oh, well, you're we're good on anatomy. Thanks a lot for watching.